Tested. Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. Norm from Tested. Apps of the week, it's Monday or Friday or whatever day it is. Two, apps. zero, one, one, five, six apps, go! Okay, so this is Dungeon Defenders. It's made by Trendy Games. We saw this at CES. The Consumer Electronics Show. But it's actually been out for a while. Uh, it's like a small team and uh, they made this game to basically be like a Dota or tower defense game. My attorney of crystal, it is under attack. Oh, you must defend it. I'm going as fast and as also, I can. it is in a dungeon. This is actually a cross-platform game, but not, I don't think for the iPhone version. I think the Android and PlayStation 3 versions use GameSpy. Die, 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 version, die, die, You can play with other people on iPhones or iPads. Uh, so, how do you play? Uh, basically, it is like Dota. So, you have a hero that you carry, you drive around. At the beginning of each wave, there's a setup phase. So, you can take uh, credits you've earned, mana, and all that kind of stuff, and build defenses, towers, stuff like that. And uh, then you start the wave, and when you start the wave, then uh, you know you have to defend your stuff against the wave. Very straightforward, pretty fun. I played yeah. a little bit on the iPad last night. It's you know it's a little bit more involved than most phone games are, which is uh, both kind of a good thing and a bad thing, I think. Looks like there are a lot of attributes and weapons and spells and abilities. I do like that you have a virtual joystick on the Android version that I was uh, trying out on the tablet at CES. There was no virtual joystick. I actually had to go tap in the direction of the uh, on the screen to make the character move. But I like the virtual joystick. For the yeah, the game. virtual joystick's pretty good. It, uh, honestly, this game works better on the iPad than on the iPhone. I played quite a bit on the iPad last night. And yeah, it was looks a like much right now you're thirty percent HUD at least. It is. There's a lot of shit going on on the screen for an iPhone game, uh, but it's universal, so it's like two ninety nine, and you get both versions. Uh, Dungeon Defenders, I, I'd say check it out. For three bucks, it seems like it's a, a worthwhile diversion. Okay, so this is RDO. RDO, that sounds like Web 2.0 spelling for radio. Yeah, they emitted a vowel, which is always the tip-off. Uh, RDO is basically a music rental service. So it's the kind of thing you pay 5 or $10 a month for, depending on which features you want. And then, of course, you can access uh, whatever songs you want that they have on their service. And it's not a massive collection, but it's, it's been pretty big so far. You can listen to whatever you want, as much as you want. Uh, for that flat fee every month. So it's much like a Zoom Pass, but it actually works on the iPhone. Works on the iPhone, works on Android, works on a bunch of other uh, services. So why would uh, I want to pay well. $10 as opposed to $5? Well, what you get for $10 is the ability to bring songs down into your collection and sync them mobily so they'll work even when your phone's offline. So if you don't have good 3G service where you're driving or you don't have a big data plan, then you can use this to actually download the songs you listen to the most when you're out and about directly to the device. It'll play them off of the phone. Just super duper handy and something that a lot of other kind of music rental services like Pandora or Last FM right. don't do. When I'm in the subway, I can't use Pandora because there is no reception. Exactly. The other thing that RDO does is you have a friend's queue, so you can see what your friends are listening to. Uh, I only have one friend right now who's active on this because I, I haven't gone through and added a bunch of friends. Uh, here comes the social. But yeah, this this is why the this is why the A is gone. Uh, I can see that my friend Brian likes the black keys, and uh, I like the black keys too, so that's probably one of the reasons we're friends. Now, I always want a service, I mean, I don't want it to curate as much. I like Pandora because it's pretty hands-off. I click a, a channel and it automatically plays, you know, ad infinitum. But if I wanted it to download, pay $10 a month, mm -hmm. will it automatically download like playlists and generate a playlist for me? Or um, actually it actually has songs? It has recommended players. It doesn't have any kind of genius functionality or anything like that. So um, in that regard, no, you can't actually do uh, what you just said. Okay, so it's pretty much, if you it's, know what you're looking for, if, you know, if there's an album you want to listen to, you can click it, download it, and fill up your iPod hard drive with it, your iPhone hard drive with it, um, splash drive with it, and uh, listen to it. I, I'm using this instead of eMusic. So uh, we talked about a bunch of podcastering apps a few weeks ago. A after much recommendation from the community, I tried Podcaster. I tried it before, I didn't like it at all. I gave it a second shot. It's pretty awesome. Uh, basically, you tell this what kind of podcast you want to listen to. Uh, Gaming, StarCraft. Yes, so Starcraft. I am subscribed to the Giant Bombcast. It then will come down and say, oh, okay, uh, I should download the latest versions of the Giant Bombcast, and then they're available to listen to even when the iPod is offline. Very good utility, it's cost a few bucks. Uh, highly recommended. I like it a lot. That's and it'll auto download if you It start. auto downloads. Uh, you have to launch the app in order for the auto download to start, but then it seems like the downloads will continue in the background uh, once you've kind of launched it the first time between phone reboots. And unlike iTunes, you can download big files over 3G. It won't say, this file is too big, you it, must be on Wi Fi. I have not seen that error message yet. Awesome. Although the best use of this device, this software is, of course, to download uh, things when you're on the fast connection so that it doesn't take three hours to download a Smodcast. The next app is Instagram. 
Oh, hipstergram. You just said that a minute ago when nobody was listening and the camera was off. Hipstergram. It is a photo sharing service. It also has some janky filter stuff you can do. Uh, well, we're aimed at a black surface right now, so this isn't going to do much. But when you take a photo, it gives you the opportunity to put a whole bunch of horrifying filters on them before sharing them with your friends and social networks like Twitter, Facebook, and Flickr. It's not black, man. It's obsidian. I have... I only, only am sharing with Twitter. You can tell people where you are, what you're doing. If you don't want to have uh, location awareness on your tweets, which I do not for a number of reasons, uh, it's a very useful service. And you can also see what your friends are doing. And apparently if, all if photos are Polaroids. Any. Well, all photos are Polaroids. One thing that turned the corner, I used to not like Instagram. I'm going to go ahead and get that out of the way. Once I realized you could also save the original aspect ratio and unfiltered janky ass pictures, I realized it was pretty cool. Uh, so you can see, you know, all the kind of stuff. That you're oh, look, there's a picture taken by me of Anna, Joey, and Norm. Joey looks like he's been kidnapped. Instagram. Okay, so Memento is a journaling app. I'm going to hide my secret passcode here. 1111. 4444. Four, four. Uh, what it does is it mines your social feeds. It's looking at my Twitter feed here to see things that you might be interested in. And then you can use that as the kind of prompting cue to keep a journal. So, for example, I wrote on Monday the 10th of January, so tired but about to see some awesome stuff. A bunch of people responded, and I added a note in here somewhere, if I can find it. Keep going. I, wow, I tweet a lot. I added a note. Uh, it's really straightforward. It's kind of neat. If you're into journaling, that's good. I'm not really a journaling kind of guy. I don't even know what journaling is. I think it's like blogging, but privately. Okay. So, um, you know, for example, after having a tweet that said, hey, I'm really, really very tired at 2.28 a.m. on Saturday or Thursday, I, I made a note in my Memento journal that said, hey, Thursday was a really good day. I worked like 20 hours, but, you know, hey. So basically, it's taking all your tweets that you do on the, on the spot and yeah. actually uh, organizing them in some way so you can make use of them later on. Exactly. And it'll, I think it'll sync to Facebook and Twitter. It also looks at your Flickr stuff, so it'll pull photos that you post and stuff like that in. It's a pretty cool service. It's not groundbreaking. It's like three bucks. It's worth checking out if you're into journaling. Apps of the week, the first one of the year. Holy bananas. Yes, those are five great apps. But wait, there's more. What? I think we have to go outside for this. Outside. Outside now. Oh, it's so bright. God, it's, it's so bright. bright. Why guess. are we outside? I was not meant to be. Quick, show the app. This is 360 panorama. It lets you take 360 panoramas by spinning the camera around. Watch. I'm panoramizing. Norm is there. Don't move. Whoa. So Whoa, the app is stitching on. a panorama in real time. Hold on. Oh, it doesn't quite line up right. I should have done this. As Will turns the camera around. I'm getting around. really tangled up in my chromophones. <laughs> okay. And so as opposed to taking Okay, doing the top now. 20 photos in oh, yeah. a stream I've, of I've photos this auto up really stitch. bad, but if you do it slow and not on camera, it's pretty awesome. Outside apps, what, what? Amazing, amazing. All six of those, yes. download them now. You New should. year for apps. Yeah, it's yep. starting over from, from the beginning. Android, iPhone, Windows Phone 7, yeah. maybe in Mac apps? No, 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 goodbye.